Ja. <laughs> Taught this movie back up for us. He doesn't care. There's no respect. He doesn't give a heck. He don't care what you think about him, Chelsea Football Club, or their transfer policy. He's going to do what he needs to do regardless. And bro wants the best young players in Chelsea Football Club and will stop at nothing to get it done. He has signed both of Farners. He has signed uh, Biadlia Shelley. He has signed Joao Felix. And now he signed Mudrik. Bro's living off... I have money so why not he will spend what he needs to spend and let's be very transparent let's be 4k let's be see-through right now with each other if your board whatever club you support was spending money the way todd has been spending money with chelsea you wouldn't complain let's be very honest as you're sat there listening to me right now you would not complain if your club had spent nearly 500 million in two windows you would not have a word to say Post commentary gem, editing gem. Listen, I was off the vibes, the hype and the Red Bull, but I meant to add that if there's a transfer strategy involved and your board spent over 500 million in two windows, then you wouldn't complain. I should have worded that better, but I was just off the hype. So why is it now that you got an issue with how Todd is spending as an owner? Don't we want all owners to spend money? Of course we do. Don't we have a go and, and, and send shots at other owners when they're, when they're not spending money on their clubs? Of course we do. So now that we've got an owner in the Premier League that is spending money, why is it now an issue? You tell me. You the hater. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? It makes the Premier League more exciting. I'm here for it. Spend your money. The only issue I have with this is that he's being a bit disrespectful. Now, it's not a written rule in the transfer window. It's not a written rule in the Premier League, but it is sort of written. Like, once you see a club going after a player, you tend to see other clubs not put in a bid or just stay clear. Because you respect that club and the business that they're trying to do. Todd doesn't give a heck. The man is doing a madness. He is moving so insane, but I'm here for it. And let me say this right here real quick, right? Arsenal fans, don't point the blame at Mudrik. Don't point the blame at Shakhtar. Don't point the blame at Todd. Point the blame at Edu. Edu has moved mad. You have been linked with Mudrik since the end of November. It's mid-January. And you have not wrapped up this deal like Spotify. It's your own fault. You have taken far too long to get this player in. He has been twerking for you like Megan the Stallion on his knees. Just ready. Just busting it open wide. No pause. Bro's been waiting for you to insert it. No pause. And you have taken so long to get everything finalized. It's your own fault. This is a lesson for Edu. This is a lesson for Arsenal. And this is a lesson for the Premier League. If you're in competition with Chelsea for a footballer, you better move rapid. You better move fast like the flash because you will get left behind, bruv. Todd doesn't care. I'm reiterating it one more time. He does not care. And the sooner you get it through, I'm doing it like this, like Rashford. The sooner you get it through here, the sooner you'll just relax and just forget that Chelsea even exists and just let them do what they need to do. All of you lot feeling emotional over the business they're doing, they're going to do it. He has money. The only thing, like I said, I feel like he's done wrong in this is just not respecting a club's business. You know, no formal offer was made for Joao Felix. So that one there, you can't even look at Todd and say that he was moving mad. Arsenal didn't move for him. Whoever else was in for him didn't move for him. Chelsea were the only club that moved in for Joao Felix. So fair enough, you know, let that one go. But this one, I feel like you've seen Arsenal pursuing. You've seen the bids that Arsenal has made. There are plenty of other players that you could have gone for. You could have gone for Kravitz from Napoli. You could have gone for an actual number nine that you desperately need. You could have gone for Osimhen. You could have gone after a Kingsley Coleman, who I feel like should. I, I would like to see him leave Bayern Munich and have a change of scenery. That's my personal opinion. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You could have gone after Madwiki from PSV. There are a couple players you could have gone after. You didn't have to go after Mudrik but it is what it is 100 million is it a high fee yes 100 million for Mudrik is very very mad but when we look at the market and we look at what Man City did with Jack Grealish and what Manchester United done with Anthony can you blame Shakhtar for wanting that much that's how much they value the player that's how much they want Arsenal knew they moved slow it was bid after bid after bid, bro. You know what I'm saying? If it's me personally as, as a director of football and Shakhtar have said to me, listen, I want 100 million for Mudrik because I've seen what other clubs are doing. 
I hear it. You may feel like you're getting robbed, but at the same time, if I know I desperately need that player in the team, I'm going to put in that bid and just get it done as soon as possible. Edu, you fumbled. Todd, you're mad. You're rude. But I hear it. Let me know your comments down below in the comment section. I'm out of here. It's mad. But I like, I like, I like a feisty transfer window. You know what I'm saying?